There are those who will seize upon the report and say, see what the Americans did, and they will try to use it to justify evil actions or incite more violence. We can't prevent that. But history will judge us by our commitment to a just society governed by law and the willingness to face an ugly truth and say never again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, some might call that uh, a betrayal in and of itself, what uh, Dianne Feinstein did on the floor of the Senate not too long ago. And one of those, Deborah Burlingame, who wrote a great piece with that title, The Senate's Betrayal, appeared in yesterday's New York Daily News. She, of course, the co-founder of 9-11 Families for a Safe and Strong America, also a member of the board of directors of the National September 11th Memorial and Museum, and the sister of uh, Charles Chick Burlingame, the pilot of American Airlines Flight 77 that crashed into the Pentagon on September 11, 2001. Deborah, Happy New Year to you and your family, and uh, welcome. Thank you. Happy New Year to you and yours, Steve. Appreciate it. All right, so uh, I, I got to tell you, I read your piece yesterday, and I couldn't be more in agreement with you. And, uh, you know, and you're in a different position than me, obviously, because you lost a, your brother on 9-11. And I was so enraged when I saw what was going on and what she said and what she did and the whole, you know, the whole, the whole premeditation of releasing it and America's evil and how dare we did what we did. But you have a whole special uh, perspective. Yes, I do. Um, I, I think that um, I started out the piece by talking about um, how 9-11 family members um, experienced that attack. Um, in the, the savageness of the, ta the attack, that the American people, um, you know, they've learned a lot of it from the media, but they didn't get to see the gruesome details um, and live through the gruesome details in, in the way that the families did. And um, for us, um, for many of us, um, we have dedicated ourselves to preventing uh, another attack like this from happening ever again in this country. We're never going to get our loved ones back. So for us, it was uh, focusing all our efforts on, on, on prevention, on security. And um, I believe that what uh, the CIA did um, and other uh, intelligence uh, um, agencies in the, in the larger intelligence community did to protect this country um, was not only necessary, um, it was effective. It was absolutely supported by members of uh, Congress who were briefed into this program, who at the time uh, said, not only gave it the green light to go forward, but um, who said, can't you do more? Um, there was no one uh, more aggressive than members of Congress. Remember, United Flight 93 was headed, headed right their way. Uh, Congress was in session on that morning. And if uh, United 93 right, had hit that building, they all know um, they might not be breathing. Deborah, why do you believe the betrayal took place? Why do you believe uh, Feinstein's committee went ahead and did what they did? Well, I, I don't think that they um, could have gone there without um, the, the distance. Uh, I mean, the, 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 the report that they, or the study that they initiated was of, of over five years ago. Um, and um, I think it, there was a push from the hard left. There is a huge community of people in the human rights community uh, based not only here, but um, even more aggressive overseas. And there was a great deal of pressure um, in the international human rights community uh, for a reckoning. You remember, um, or you might remember, that in uh, the summer of 2008, the um, acknowledged future attorney general, Herrick Holder, was campaigning for his um, future boss. And he uh, described, uh, he, he, he referred to the Bush era methods um, as um, not only as torture, but he promised, uh, this is in front of a group of uh, liberal lawyers, a reckoning, that there would be a reckoning. And they tried very, very hard to make that reckoning come true. What happened is reality. Um, the courts were involved and the court said, no, there, were, there was no violation of law. Um, 
And right. The, so they uh, did. They did all that they 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 did all that they they could do on their own. Deborah, um, we're out of time. I urge everyone to go to nydailynews.com, nydailynews.com, and uh, check out uh, the Senate's betrayal by Deborah Burlingame. Deborah, great to speak to you as always. Thank you very much. Thank you, Steve. God bless you. The close. The closing bell reports next.